Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Eric here from EM Guns. Should we be arming our teachers to protect against mass shootings? Stay tuned. This community, we've always been raised around guns and how to respect guns. I trust any teacher in the school with a gun. I know the students feel safer knowing that the teachers have guns here in case somebody come off the highway and acted crazy or something. If you're coming into our school to not know where you might get shot from. We'd rather have guns protect us than pencils and rulers and scissors. So in these short clips, I'll show you a couple examples of why Texas has decided to arm some of their teachers. And then I'll give you a, a couple of the uh, negatives of why you shouldn't arm teachers. And in the end, I'll let you draw your conclusion. This, though, who's already putting the president's proposal into action, here's CNN's Ed Lavendera. We'll do whatever's necessary to protect our kids and staff. This is the stark message that greets you when you walk into one of the two school buildings in Callisburg, Texas. Arm a teacher is completely insane. It's a terrible idea. A terrible idea. But Trump's Everybody's against it. This Florida student says teachers carrying guns is a terrible idea. You're asking a teacher to uh, f uh, fight an assault rifle with a handgun. That seems like a pretty unfair fight to me. The teachers have handguns against somebody with a big gun. That's not much. It's not much. But it's better than nothing. If you go there with nothing, you have no chance of stopping anything. The police come. They see your teacher with a gun. How do you keep them from shooting her? We train a lot with our local law enforcement. So that helps us because we want them to at least know we're there and at least recognize us. If they happen to get shot while they're stopping a tragedy, all of our guardians have said, you know, that's just the price of being a guardian. His teacher saw how during the Florida school shooting, the security guard waited outside. It made me mad. It's a reason she's glad she can carry her gun at school. You have to have a fighting chance if something should happen at our school. We hid her identity because she and the school don't want a potential attacker to know which teachers are armed. Are you carrying now? Of course. Many people say armed teachers create new dangers. Teacher accidentally fired a gun in his classroom. At this California school, a teacher mistakenly shot at the ceiling. One student was slightly hurt by falling debris. But that's the only incident we could find where a student was injured. Took a rifle to his On the other hand, girl. armed teachers have stopped school shootings. 16-year-old Luke Woodham has been arrested. When this student killed two classmates, an assistant principal with a gun held the killer at gunpoint until police arrived. We don't know how often armed teachers deter shootings. The media can't cover crimes that never happened. The media also distort what President Trump proposed. Donald Trump said teachers should have guns. Teachers should not be required to protect and serve and to teach. Required? No teacher's required to carry. It's voluntary. Those who want to bring their guns to school can't. Here's another distortion. I really do not support the idea of arming teachers. Arming teachers. Arming teachers. A new federal program? That's not what the president proposed. Lots of teachers already have guns. All a school has to do is allow some to bring their guns to school. At the Keene School District, however, Superintendent Stevens did create a new government program. The school purchases a gun and then they, we give them and register them to our teachers. That way, he says, he can make sure all teachers have training on the same type of gun. Finally, as we ponder the best way to keep students safe, we should address the scariest myth. The epidemic of shootings. The epidemic of school shootings. Despite what the media say, there is no epidemic of school shootings. No sharp increase. School shootings kill far fewer kids than driving, suicide, drowning, even suffocating. Why now? School shootings are not in a big uptick. Exactly right. But we prepare for them because if even one shooting happens, it's more than we would want. You're 10 times as likely to die suffocating. Right. I mean, you can't protect against all these things. No, but we do train our kids in school 
how to not suffocate and how not to drown. Certainly, Stephen's ARM teacher program is cheaper than what my town does. New York City spends hundreds of millions of dollars stationing police officers in and around schools. Of course, here and in most blue states, suggesting that some teachers carry weapons horrifies people. They don't understand that a responsible, trained teacher with a firearm is better than having a teacher with nothing. Texas will definitely probably be leading the way when it comes to protecting our kids with weapons and that New York would choose to go a radically different way. I'm glad that we live in a country where the local people can decide what goes on in their school district and not a bunch of people in New York City. It's good that America has 50 states. That allows experiments. Teachers in New York City may fear guns, but teachers in Texas can serve and protect. So guys, I don't know if you came to the conclusion I came after watching that, but I can tell you from my own experience, I would like to think that I would defend myself and anybody else in the room with me if I was a teacher. I would want the opportunity to have that option to defend myself. You know, the one kid points out, what is a teacher going to do with a gun against an AR-15? Same question, kid. What's a teacher going to do without a gun against an AR-15? I hope you guys have a blessed week. Thank you for watching. Love you. Peace out.